Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. It continues to move in a very tight range and it seems like this range is getting tighter and tighter. Let's add the volume to the chart. You can see how volume has been reducing. That's quite typical um, for a range like this where you have reduced volatility, where you have reduced um, yeah, volume as well. And you typically wait for some sign of a breakout of the volume, yeah, you can you can use oops, you can use a trend line like this to draw um, or to add to the volume bars here. And if you get a breakout, now again you can see you can get fake outs as well. But when you get a proper breakout, that can indicate that we have here, um, let's say, a breakout of the price as well. Um, at the moment, there is not much more room to go for volume, so it is getting squeezed and squeezed. And typically, when you get this then the next move will be quite impulsive. Now, at the moment, as long as we're holding 1985, I would assume the move to, is going to be to the upside in a third wave, but we already talked about it in the previous video. I would also not be surprised within the scope of this entire scenario that it could just reset the larger wave two here, basically that we're going to lose one wave degree and it's going to come down and um, as long as it's holding 1732 it can easily reset this wave too that's why we've got the alternate wave two here and then just rally from there and a third wave okay so it just depends on which wave degree is going to work out in the end honestly if we break down a little bit to here and then rally or rally straight away it's all part of basically the same scenario just a question about how many wave degrees we have um sort of in between and um, the idea is, you know, we are watching these key Fibonacci levels, in this case, the 78.6 Fibonacci level. This is very important because below this level, you would typically get not invalidation, but in most cases, eventually it will be invalidated, the, in this case, bullish setup. So the 78.6 Fib level is very important. As you can see on the chart, we've got two different 78.6 Fib levels, one at 1985, one at 1732, that just simply relates to the wave degrees. So we have one large one, two setup, which is a bullish setup, which could result in a third wave rally. This is the yellow one, which is re uh, relevant for this setup. So below this 78.6 FIP at 1732, this larger setup will be probably invalidated in the end. Yeah, It will reduce massively in likelihood in terms of working out. Um, and then we've got here the orange one at 1985, which is relevant for the small one to set up here, but it would need to rally now. Otherwise it will probably break below support here, reset large wave two. Yeah. That's why we've got the alternate here and then has still a chance to rally from here. It's only that below 1732. Yeah. I probably have to take a more bearish stance about Solana. Um, at the moment, just sideways movement. There is not much more to add here. Sometimes it's useful just to visualize here, but probably not on the on the one hour chart. Um, maybe, maybe let's try the daily. Let's see. Sometimes just to highlight when the Bollinger Bands get tighter and tighter. To be fair, on the daily, they're not too tight yet. But as you can see here, the blue lines, they are getting tighter and tighter. Maybe we can make them a little bit more visible. Put them in white. As you can see, they get tighter and tighter. Um, if you get this, yeah, typically the next move is very impulsive. So we had a very tight range here between December and January. Well, yeah, early December, early January. Became so tight that you got a breakout here. It bounced off support and then rallied massively. So quite an impulsive move typically occurs after you get really a squeeze here. Yeah, very, very tight together. And then it sort of broke free. And here as well, it is typically as it seems on the daily here that you get this sort of very tight range. Then it moves one way, moves the other, then breaks out here as well. We had this very tight range, moved one way, broke out here as well very tight range moved one way broke out and here is again this sort of it's getting very tight now yeah getting there very tight range and then let's see if we can get maybe even a reset of the wave two and then but that's speculation i mean just want to emphasize that whenever you get these very very tight ranges on your bollinger bands 
um, which is nothing else than you know visualization of the of the um, of the standard deviations and so on. It's all mathematics. Um, then you typically get a very volatile move, but then it's always contracting and you know um, then breaking out and so on. So yeah, it's a bit like um, a rubber band which gets expanded. But yeah, we're now in a very tight range, absolutely, because the longer this moves just without moving a lot, those Bollinger Bands get very tight. The thing is, why is that the case that they then break out? Well, it's basically because um, when it's so tight, it just doesn't need much to really stretch the Bollinger Bands. And then it's like rubber. Yeah, so it goes into support here. So like rubber, it breaks out and it swings back. Okay, so if you get that, and it doesn't take a lot, lot when the Bollinger Bands are so tight, you get you know this sort of spring effect um yeah certainly something worth watching i don't use the bollinger bands a lot it's just some, some, sometimes nice for for visualizing um but yeah otherwise you know no no additional comments here currently bullish perspective as long as support is holding the elliott waves allow us to understand those critical support areas which which are relevant and which are relevant for invalidation um, we talked about those now and I guess a breakout to the upside above the descending trend line here would be a very first good indication that this yellow wave two is over and that we're actually in a third wave rally. All right, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.